There's a device that's been on the market for a long time called an HHO system for your car. They're not being as hyped as much in 2009-2010 as they were the previous couple years because I really don't think they're very effective. I personally have never used one. There is a Mythbusters show which they got an old 78 Oldsmobile Cutlass 305 V8 or whatever it was, 267. They ordered a system from the internet and the system functioned that claimed it could operate this vehicle and save it fuel and everything. Well, they drained the bowl of the carburetor in this car, hooked up their HHO system. It was producing oxygen and hydrogen just like it was supposed to. You could see it bubbling, you could see it coming through the tube if you lit it, fed it to the car, and just like I thought, it doesn't put out enough cubic feet per minute to run an engine anywhere near that size. I doubt the system that they bought would actually run even a lawnmower. You, you gotta realize that to produce hydrogen and oxygen in a large volume of cubic feet per minute takes a large system and that takes a lot of electricity. Involved with these systems is just a law of physics. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So how can you get free energy if you're using your alternator on your vehicle to produce the energy and the amperage required to use the electricity to break this water down to oxygen and hydrogen. It's no free lunch there. An alternator under full load can take about four horsepower from a vehicle's engine. Well, if you had a big enough system so it could use all the energy your alternator was producing, or a spare alternator to do that for you, you're automatically losing four horsepower right there, for example. But still, that would produce not near enough hydrogen and oxygen to run a vehicle. So you'd have to have a huge system I bet you you'd have to fill up the whole insides of your car or the back of a truck to be able to pr produce enough to run your vehicle 100% off this system. Yes, if you do have another system that's smaller and tap it into your vehicle and find a way to reduce the amount of fuel your car burns and supplement it with this instead of the fuel that it's not burning, like reducing the fuel pressure to your injectors, tricking your oxygen sensor, uh, putting smaller jets in your carburetor. It's possible you might get a small increase in fuel economy, but you're still taking a load from the engine to run the electrolysis process. So I'm not sold on it. I don't have proof to show you, but the best I have to, show, to tell you, you can probably look up, is the Mistbusters show on it. Good luck.